Hi there, uh, my name is Dave Glover and I work for Microsoft and I'm based in Melbourne in Australia and I Twitter at twitter.com slash dglover. When I given that Windows 7 ships on October the 22nd, I thought it'd be kind of fun just to show off my favourite things about Windows 7. So it's going to talk about some enhancements made to the desktop, organising and finding stuff and be able to set default printers by location. So the first thing you notice about Windows 7 is the environment is just simpler and much more consistent to use. There's a new taskbar. Uh, by default, the taskbar is docked to the bottom of the screen, but I can drag that and drop that over to the left-hand side or to the top or to the right-hand side. Now you see that I have a number of applications open on my taskbar. If I hover over Windows Internet Explorer, you'll see that I've got previews for each of the tabs that are open. So this provides me some guidance as to where I'm going to be going with uh, each application. I also have the ability to be able to pin an application to the taskbar. So in this case here, if I go looking for the calculator, you'll see that I have the ability to right mouse click on the application and pin it to the taskbar. If I have a look at my taskbar now, you'll see a new application has appeared on here. I also have the ability to be able to change its location. So a lot of feedback we got from users was they wanted applications in a certain place. It just made it much easier for them to go to. Now, a lot of people told us they wanted easy ways to get to files or web pages or documents that they were frequently working on. So we've introduced the idea of jump lists. And if I go and right mouse click on Internet Explorer, you see that inside my jump list, I have uh, frequent, frequently accessed pages on the web. If I go and right mouse click on Windows Explorer, you can see that I've got directories and folders that I like to work with. So again, just making that a lot simpler. Now most of us have multiple applications running on our desktop at any one time. So if I go and open up my SkyDrive sitting up on home.live.com and I'm going to open up some local photos on my, on my computer. The first thing I want to do with this uh, photos folder is maximize the window. So if I hold the left mouse button down and drag the window up to the top of the screen, you'll see that it automatically resizes for me. If I want to turn this back into a window, I can just hold the left mouse button down and drag it down again. Now, a lot of what, what, a lot of what we're going to do when we're working with files is to be able to copy them from one location to another or to compare them. So in this case, what I'm going to do is drag this window across to the right-hand side and you'll see it docks against the right-hand side. And my Internet Explorer tab, I'm going to drag that across the left and you can see that it's docked against my left-hand side automatically for me. And then it becomes a simple matter of just working with the photos and just dragging them across from one window to another. So that makes it much easier to better work with uh, files and multiple windows on my desktop. Now, as I mentioned before, you can also have gadgets anywhere on your desktop. And we've introduced a button on the taskbar called Show Desktop. And if you hover over that, you'll see that it turns all the active applications on your desktop into glass and you can see onto your desktop. And if I move that away, I'll get the applications back again. So hopefully you like the enhancements we've made to the new taskbar and to managing windows on the desktop. Now the next thing I want to talk about is working with libraries. Now libraries provide a way of aggregating folders from multiple locations under one category. So for example, you might have some work documents, some training documents, some personal documents. Then you want to be able to aggregate those under a category of documents. So you can see here with my documents library, I've got directories from multiple uh, locations on my computer. The advantage of this means that I have a kind of an aggregate view of all the files and directories inside my library. I can also arrange them, so I can arrange them by type or by name or, or whatever I want to go, whatever is best suited. I can also search across all those directories in that document library. For example, I could go and search for Windows 7. It's also very easy to add existing folders into a library. So for example, if I come over here into my data directory, and I don't know, I've got a directory here called Legacy. Up here at the top in the taskbar, I've got Include in Library. I can create a new library, or I can add to an existing library, in this case, Documents. And finally, I want to show how easy it is to set a default printer by location. So if I go and click on my Start menu, go to Devices and Printers, You'll see that I've got my printers here listed. I go and select a particular printer, and up here in the taskbar, you'll see I've got Manage Default Printers. If I go and click on this, I can go and select my particular network. So for example, it could be my home network. And in there, I can go and select my default printer. For my work network, in this case here, I can go and set my default printer in my work location. So no more printing or waiting for documents to print off of the long, wrong location. So those are my three favorite things with Windows 7. 
Windows 7 ships on October the 22nd. There are a stack of enhancements inside Windows 7 which really do make life a lot easier. So fire it up and give it a whirl and enjoy. Many thanks. Bye-bye.